Trump Card, starring Gerard Arsenault. This program was originally recorded December 10th, 1990 by David Arsenault via satellite. From the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City, it's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump Card, Jimmy Cephalo. Over here at the fabulous Trump Castle in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where competition is king. And we have three contestants who are ready to challenge each other today for over $15,000 in cash and a chance to win $100,000 in the Trump Card Championship. Let's play Trump Card. Before we begin, please say hello to our Trump Card hostess, Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. Meet today's players, contestant number one from Bridgewater, New Jersey, Joe Weinstein, a physician who, uh, on his first date with his wife, who was a dietitian, you cooked dinner for her? Yes. What'd you cook yes. her? Chicken Devon. Was it good uh, dietetically and uh, did it taste good as well? Probably better taste-wise. I guess she liked it because she came back and let me cook, her, cook, cook for her again. Yeah, for an entire lifetime. <laughs> right. All right, so good luck on the program. Right. And Lynn Chadwick from a Toms River, New Jersey, a high school teacher who's currently working on her master's degree. In what field? In educational administration and supervision. And I understand you just had uh, some practice at that. You just chaperoned 18 students on a European tour. Yeah, I didn't sleep very much, but we had a great time. Where'd you go? France and Switzerland. Were for they nine good? days. They were terrific. Oh, good. All right, good luck on the show. Thanks. And uh, Jerry... Arsenault from uh, Vineland, New Jersey, a professor who has won many a dance contest. What kind of dance? Um, the Foxtrot, which we've won first prize, and we've done contest in the area of jitterbugging as well as the uh, Lindy Hop. It's on, almost a lost art, isn't it? It is. All right, good luck to you, Jerry. Here's how the game is played. Each of the contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. First player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 Trump Card bonus. And don't forget, our studio audience will be playing along on their own Trump Cards. Every time a contestant answers a question correctly, our audience members will cover the corresponding number on their card. So good luck to the contestants and to the audience members as well. Now, players, you can win round number one and $750 in cash by being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are... Small towns, we're looking for small towns where famous events occurred. 50 in 90, people who turned 50 in 1990, foreign phrases, and let's dance. Each category contains four questions, and a correct answer will cover a corner on your card and give you the right to choose the next category. If you give me a wrong answer, you will be frozen out of the next question. And Lynn, since you won the draw backstage, please choose for us. I'd like to go with foreign phrases, please. All right, everybody, good luck. Here we go. It's Hawaiian for love, and they get you with it coming and going. What's the word? Joe. Alay. Sorry, aloha, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. We move on to Let's Dance. When this graceful dance first originated in Germany and Austria, it was considered disgraceful because of the close contact between partners. Name it. Waltz. Lynn, the waltz is correct. Yes, we cover number 16 on your card. Joe, you're back in. I'd like to go for foreign phrases again. It refers to the camaraderie among members of a group and means group spirit in French. Name that phrase. Lynn. Esprit de corps? Yes, that's correct. Cover number 20 in your car. I'm going to stay with it. Foreign phrases, please. The sad ending of Romeo and Juliet seems to disprove the Latin phrase, amor vincit omnia. Please translate. Jerry. Love conquers all. That is correct. We cover 31 on your car. I'll go for let's dance, please. <laughs> I thought you might. In 1943, this niece of a famous film director won great acclaim for her choreography for Broadway's Oklahoma. Name her. Jerry. Agnes DeMille. That's correct. We cover 35 at time now between Lynn and Jerry. I'll try a let's dance. Until the 1975 hit by Van McCoy, this was not a dance, but something people primarily did in pool halls. Name this disco dance. Lynn. Moon dance? That's right. A hustle. A hustle. You're blocked out of the next question. We move on to small towns. First time in this category. In 1870, Benjamin Goodrich opened a factory there. Today, this Ohio town is known as the rubber capital of the world. Name it, Jerry. Akron, Ohio. Yes, Akron, Ohio is correct. Cover number 41. Lynn, you're back in. I'll go with Let's Dance. Last question in this category. 
You mix the merengue and the tango in this sexy dance. Name it. Joe. Fandango. Oh, sorry, the Lombada, the correct answer. You block out of the next question and move on to small towns. This just for Lynn and Jerry. Located in south central New Mexico, it's the site of the largest missile testing range in the United States. Name it. Lynn. Los Alamos. Sorry, White Sands, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. Joe, you're back in. We move on to 50 in 90. His 1982 concert film, Live on the Sunset Strip, was a success, but he failed at the box office with The Toy. Name this black comedian. Jerry for the win. Richard Pryor. Congratulations, Jerry. Yeah, that's all for the correct answer. $50 in cash. We'll return in a moment to double our prize money to $1,500. When you should be home, but you can't be home, you <laughs> Formula 44M, the only one for coughs that relieves congestion, runny nose, and headache. It's the multi-symptom cough and cold medicine. <laughs> Couldn't miss the last class. I had to be sure 20 people I am very proud of become citizens of this country. When you should be home, but you can't be home, you fix Formula 44M. Thanks, Debbie. All right, players here in round number two. One of you will win $1,500 in cash by being the first to cover the five numbers across your center line. And right now, Debbie is giving each and every one of you a special trump card. And beginning with this round, you may use this card to block the progress of one of your opponents. Now, you can only play your trump card after you give me a correct answer. You've only got one card. We still have two rounds to go, so please play it wisely. And players, if you win the game and still have your trump card, then you go into the bonus round with an extra advantage. Now, here are the categories for round number two, and they are... Back to the Past, that's our history category, celebrity couples, murder he wrote, male mystery writers, and initials, abbreviations of organizations. Each category contains five questions, and Jerry, since you won the first round, please start for us. Out of the Past. One result of the Napoleonic Wars was the establishment of neutrality for this European nation. Name it, Lynn. Switzerland. That is correct, we cover number 21 on your car. Okay, I'd like to try uh, initials. When you are in a deep state of sleep, you experience REM. What do the initials REM stand for? Lynn. Rapid eye movement. Correct. You cover 22 on your car. I'm going to try it again. Initials, please. If you enjoy getting it over your head, you might be a scuba diver. What do the letters in the word scuba stand for? Joe. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Correct. Yeah, well done, Joe, and you're on the board for us. Let's stick with initials, please. If a college grad talks about his BFA, what kind of degree does he have? Lynn? Bachelor of Fine Arts. Yeah, you cover number 23 and you've got a good lead in the second round. I'm going to stick with the winner. Initials, please. It gives some people the creeps to think about it, but during Nixon's 1972 campaign, what did the initials C-R-E-E-P stand for? Joe? Committee for the re-election of... Committee for the re-election of the president. Sorry, we needed an exact committee to re-elect the president. The four, we needed the two in there. And anyway, Joe, the bottom line is you're blocked out of the next question. We move back to, back to the past. The 17th century French leader was a character in the Three Musketeers and in real life founded France's postal system. Name this cardinal. Jerry. Richelieu. Yes, that is correct. Cardinal Richelieu. We cover number 36 in your card. Joe, you're back in. Please choose for us, Jerry. Out of the past again, please. Which of the original 13 colonies was founded by clergyman Roger Williams? Jerry. Rhode Island. Yes, that's correct. We cover 37 on your car. Same category. What country was finally united in the late 15th century when marriage joined the kingdoms of Aragon and Castile? Joe. France. Oh, sorry, Spain, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. We move back to, first time in this category, celebrity couples. What yuppie TV show stars actor Ken Olin and his real-life spouse, Patricia Wedding? Lynn. 30-something. That is correct. Cover 24 in your car. Joe, you're back in. I'd like to try that one again. Celebrity couples, please. He starred on The Hardy Boys and Baywatch, and she's the, cherry, the cheery Rebecca Howe on Cheers. Name them. Parker Stevenson and Christy Alley, the correct answer. Murder, he wrote. First time in this category. This 1902 Arthur Conan Doyle story pits the shrewd Sherlock Holmes against a life-threatening supernatural canine. Name it. Jerry? Hounds of Baskerville? Yes, that is correct. We cover number 38 on your car. 
I will in the past again, please. Aside from football, the 49ers refer to men involved in what California event that started? The gold rush. Yes, Joe. In 1849, the gold rush is correct. We cover number seven on your card. How about initials again, please? Last question in this category. Nelson Mandela is the deputy president of the anti-apartheid organization called the ANC. What are the initials ANC, Joe? African National Congress. That's right. You're on a roll. We cover number eight on your card. Uh, how about celebrity couples, please? In the 1986 movie The Fly, she starred with husband-to-be Jeff Goldblum, named this Oscar-winning actress. Lynn for the win. Gina Davis. Congratulations, Lynn. Yeah. $1,500. And Zach to you, Lynn. Congratulations. You're doing well. We're going to double the prize money again in round number three for $3,000. Does your sinus medicine put you to sleep? With a non-aspirin pain reliever for sinus headaches, plus a decongestant for pressure that starts to work in as quick as 22 minutes, without drowsiness, Sudafed Sinus. Fast relief, not fast asleep. Welcome back. It's round one with Trump card, and here's Jenny Sutherland. All right, players, this is our knockout round. No categories, just one winner. The first person to complete their car, that player will get $3,000 and a chance at our trump card bonus for an additional $10,000. Let's recap our scores right now. Joe, you need 12 answers for the money. Lynn, you are eight inches away. And Jerry, you need eight inches as well for $3,000. A reminder, you still have your trump cards in front of you. Use them to frustrate your opponents by blocking their progress after you give me a correct answer. All right, everybody, good luck, and here we go. Reportedly, in 1843, the director of this government agency stated that the time would come when there would be nothing left to invent. Name this office, Sherry. U.S. Patent Office. That is correct. Cover number 32 on your card. This dessert was created to celebrate the purchase of the territory that became our 49th state. Joe. Pick Alaska. That's right. Yes, you're on the board of this round. What American city is home to the largest commodity exchange in the world? Jerry. Chicago. Yes, that is right. We cover 33. You're six answers away. After he blazed the wilderness road, Daniel Boone founded this Kentucky settlement, which bears his name. What was it, Joe? Boonesboro. That is right. We cover number two. Trump Jerry, please. All right, Joe, you trump Jerry. Jerry, you need a right answer in order to remove it. Let's recap our scores momentarily. Joe, you need ten correct answers. Lend your eight away. Jerry, after you get rid of the trump card, you'll need six. Sometimes portrayed as a winged child with a chubby face, this little angel belongs to the second order of angels. What is it called? Landy, beat the it. Cherubim? Yeah, that is correct. Cherub, a cherubim is right. We cover number 17 on your card. You're seven answers out. They sailed for Tahiti, but on what island did the mutineers from the HMS Bounty settle? Jerry. Pick turn. Sorry, it's close. It was Pit Karen. And that's the exact answer we needed. You're blocked onto the next question. What's the name of the fireside snack that's roasted marshmallows between chocolate bars and graham crackers? Lynn. S'mores. They're great, aren't they? Oh, I love them. Yeah, we cover number 18 on your card. Jerry, you're back in. The President, Vice President, Secretary of State, and Secretary of Defense are all part of this government advisory body named the Council. Lynn. The Cabinet. Sorry, the National Security Council. You're blocked out of the next question. According to the 1990 census, what's the United States' second largest city? Jerry. Los Angeles. That is correct. We remove the Trump card from your podium. Right now, you are six inches away. And Lynn, you're back in. One stands in Central Park in New York, the other along the River Thames in London, named this Egyptian obelisk. Jerry. Cleopatra's Needle. That is correct. I blew the question, but you're absolutely right. I was looking for these Egyptian obelisks. Cleopatra's Needle is correct. Thank you very much. You're five inches away now. What bestseller about the Civil War was originally titled Tomorrow is Another Day? Lynn. Gone with the Wind. That is correct. Five May answers I, for you. I uh, use my trump card you on sure Jerry, can. please. Okay, okay Jerry. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Jerry, <laughs> she's very polite about it. She apologized. At least you need another correct answer to remove it. Reportedly, because of anti-German sentiment during World War I, what popular food was often called Liberty Steak? Jerry. Coleslaw. Sorry, hamburger, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. What 20th century British leader was made an honorary U.S. citizen? Joe. Churchill. Yes, he was. Your nine answers out. We cover number three on your card. Derived from the Greek for both wise and foolish, it's the term for a second-year college student. Name it. Jerry. Sophomore. Sophomore is right. We remove the trump card from your podium. You're five out. 
In colonial America, what was the common last name of clergyman Richard and Cotton? Jerry. Mathers. Mathers is right. Yes, we cover number 39 in your card. You're four inches away. The initials SOP are a common business abbreviation. What do they stand for? Joe. Standard Operating Procedure. That is correct. We cover number four in your card. You're eight inches out with three cap. Joe, you need eight. Lynn, you're five away. Jerry, four inches will give you 3,000 bucks. What American author created the hard-boiled private detective Lou Archer? Ross McDonald, the correct answer. The name for this basic artillery piece comes from the Italian for tube. What is the common army weapon? Cannon. Cannon, the right answer. The Salmon River is the longest river entirely within a single state. In what northwest state is it located? Joe. Idaho. Idaho is right. We cover number five. You're seven inches away. Abnormal ones can weigh up to 100 pounds, measure eight feet long, and when they're cooked, they taste like sweet potatoes. Name them. Joe. Zucchini? Yeah, a yam. Yams can be that long or that big. I had no idea. Joe, you're blocked out of the next question. In 1940, a Brooklyn gang was exposed for its specialty of paid killings. What infamous nickname was given to the gang? Jerry. Murders Incorporated. That is correct. We cover number 40 or three answers out. Joe, you're back in. What's the Algonquin Indian word for a popular slipper-like footwear? Lynn. Moccasin? Yes, four answers out for you. In 1977, this company introduced the One Step, which became the best-selling camera in the United States four years in a row. Name it. Jerry. Polaroid. Polaroid is right. Two answers out from $3,000. The third largest city in Spain gives its name to a popular orange. Name it. Jerry. Valencia. Yes, one answer out. It was founded by Charles Taze Russell and is also called the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Name it. Jerry for the Jehovah win. Witness. Congratulations, Jerry. That is it. Yep. Quite a run, Jerry. We give you another $3,000. Lynn, you've got $1,500. Still, you've got our thanks for some nice consolation prizes. Good luck to both of you. Jerry, come on down here. I'll show you how you can win some more money. We'll send it out to a couple of truck cars. You do well. Very good boys. In a moment, though, we're going to find out if you can add a lot more money to your total. The big bonus board is right behind you. We'll find out if Jerry can add $10,000 to his bank account. We return in just a moment. Chocolate chip cookies. Just 10 minutes bakes those blues away. Well, that's everybody staring at. Nothing says loving like my chocolate chip cookies. Tickets to see Trump Car. Send a self address stamped envelope to Trump Car. Post Office Box 749, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 08404. All right, Jerry, you've got a shot now at adding $10,000 to your total. And if you do well today, you know we're going to invite our top 21 winners back for the end of the year. Trump Card Championship, that'll be worth $100,000. So this is an important game for you. First things first, though, the big board has 25 numbers on it. If you give me a correct answer, we'll cover a number up on that board. Now, the object of the game is to cover five numbers in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally by giving me correct answers. And if you can do that in 45 seconds or less, I'll give you $10,000. Simple enough. But first, I'm going to ask Debbie to join us. She's carrying a deck of cards, number 1 through 25. And if you'll choose one, we'll cover that number up on the board. And because you still have your trump card, that means you get another free pick. So choose one up. Thanks very much. 17 and 18. Oh, my. Thanks very much, Debbie. All right. 17 and 18. Can't get much better than that, Jerry. All right. So you've got 45 seconds on the clock. You call out a number. I'll ask a question. If you pass or if you give me a wrong answer, we'll block that number. You must start a new line. Remember, if you don't call out a number, I can't ask a question, and that'll cost you time on the clock. We will not start the clock until I begin the first question. You all set? Right. In that case, Jerry, give me a number. 19. In 1774, what gas did Joseph Priestley discover? Pass. 13. In what organ of your body would you find the mitral valve? Heart. Correct. 8. What Greek playwright wrote Medea and the Trojan Woman? Pass. It's 12. What Chinese revolution began in 1966? The Cultural Revolution. Correct. 7. What's the name of Israel's parliament? 
The uh, consent. Correct. Give me another. Two, uh, two. What sailor disease results from the lack of vitamin Scurvy. C? Correct. 22. What was the nickname of jazz man Ferdinand Joseph Morton? His nickname is Jerry Roll. 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 Contestants will receive Travel Savers Hotel Director, discounts from the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies, 1-800-726-SAVE. Alright, Jerry, you still won $3,750, the one that got you to cost you $10,000. What was the nickname of jazz man Ferdinand Joseph Borton, Jelly Roll? Uh, in 1774, Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen, and what Greek playwright wrote, Medea and the Trojan Woman, Euripides, the correct answer. Sorry, it was that close away. But you're a nice contestant, $3,750. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. With every Massey, I'm Jimmy Sapper. We'll see you next time right here on Truck Club. So long, everybody. One of our departing contestants will receive the following. A matinee length culture pro mattress, six to six and a half millimeters, beautifully ordained with a 14 karat gold cross from the fine jewelry collection of the Michael C. Finger Company. Association with Telepictures Productions and is distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution.